All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, Yasharala. This is another GMS Raleigh collaboration once again through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Rakakwadash. I'm the brother Nakwam. I'm the brother Nakam. And before we begin this Lord's with an edifying lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to our Holy Begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Bahashim. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Bahashim Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops, the great millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well. And shalom to all the Ikeen, which is out there in the four corners of the earth, pushing this word out of fear and sincerity of heart in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. And the lesson we're going to go into today through the Spirit is going to be centered around trusting in the Lord, man. Okay? Trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, who the word is going to cause God and Jesus Christ, man, with all our heart and all our mind, man. So grab that first precept, brother. Uh, this is Psalms, chapter 31, verse 6. Mm -hmm. I have hated them that regard lying vanities. That's right. And what's that lying vanities, man? You know, mainly idol worshiping, man. You know, and Yahweh Bashimashai hates that. So, so do the men of the Lord. We being the representatives of the Lord, we hate that too, man. So, we hate the two thirds of our people that are into folly, man. You know, and first and foremost, idol worshiping. Read on. It says, But I trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai. But we trust in Yahweh Bashimashai. The ones that created the heavens and the earth, and that's the God of the Bible, man. The God of the Israelites, okay? Primarily the elect, okay? Because when you go on that word trust, as you see in the background, it goes into, it says, a firm belief in the reliability, truth, or ability, or strength of someone and something. And who do we have that firm belief in, man? Who can we rely on? Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. And that's what we're going to be continuing to do to the best of our abilities as we're living in the evil times, man. The last days of the last days. Read the next precept, brother. Mm -hmm. This is Psalm chapter 118, mm -hmm. verse 8. Mm -hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Than to put confidence in man. Mm -hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashimal Shai, than to put confidence in princes. Right, so it's better than trusting Yahweh Bashimal Shai than to listen to these people that's coming with their own vain opinions, man. Because guess what? Their own vain opinion is going to lead uh, our people and themselves into destruction, man. So we're going to rely on what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua says, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, through the service of the prophets, man, the true men of the Lord. Start off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops on down, man, who's teaching this word uh, the 100% way I supposed to be broken down, man. Okay? That was it on that? Mm hmm Man, I got that next one, Baba Kasha. This is Psalms chapter 73, verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. And how do we do that? How do we draw near to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua by doing the works, man? By standing in the scriptures, by being, you know, in order to the best of our abilities, man. That's how we get closer and closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. And the first and foremost, fear in the Lord. Read on. It says, I have put my trust in the Lord God. Yahweh Bashimah Shai, mm -hmm. that I may declare all thy works. Right, and that's what we do when we go out there in the highways and hedges, and also when we make these videos. Okay, we always declaring the works of Yahweh Bashimah Shai, the judgments, and as well as the, the the blessings and deliverance that the Lord does for us, man. Okay, we always declare the works of Yahweh Bashimah Shai. Okay, you know, so there that that puts us more aligned. And trusting it no more because you know the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So if you say something is going to happen, it's going to happen, man. That was it on that, brother. Uh huh. Go ahead to that next piece up, Baba Kasha. This is Psalms chapter 
115 verse 9. 10. Um, you can you can start at verse nine. Or do you want ten? Uh, what's nine say? Oh Israel, trust thou in the Lord. Oh yeah, 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 yep, yep. Baba Kasha, yep. This is Psalm chapter one fifteen, verse nine. Mm -hmm. Oh Israel, yep. Trust thou in the Lord, Yah by Shema mm -hmm. He is their help and their shield. And that's right, man. And who is the Lord going to be that for? Because the Israelites consist of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and your Israelite foreigners. But guess what? Within the nation of Israel, you have the elect, okay? That's who your Ha'obah Shema is going to be a shield for, and that's who the elect is going to be hoping in, man. And we're hoping to be a part of that number, okay? They get protected and as well as uh, delivered in these bad times that we're living in, man, okay? Because your Ha'obah Shema is going to be a, a shield which is a, a protection, you know what I'm saying, for the elect. You know what I'm saying? What's going to protect them? Those names, man. Call upon those names out of fear and sincerity of heart. Read on, my brother. Verse 10. O house of Aaron, mm -hmm. trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yahweh He is the help in the shield. Yep. Finishing it out. Verse 11. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh Trust in the Lord. Right. He, yep. He that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, man. Because when you fear Yahweh Bashim Shah, you're not going to put your reliance and faith and confidence in anything else, man. Because that's what we do. We we put our, our faith and our confidence and fear and trust in Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay. Because guess what? You put your trust in this world, you know what I'm saying? It's going to lead you to the path of destruction because this world is going to pass away very, very soon. So it'd be the best thing to do is to trust in the Lord instead, man. Read on. Verse 12. The Lord, Yahweh has been mindful of us. Mm -hmm. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. That's right. And that's going to be with the elect, man. The Lord already blessed us with the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding of the Bible, okay? And the Lord's will of the Lord, uh, you know, have us be a be part of the elect to be delivered as well as protecting in these times, man. Because that us is a possessive pronoun. That's what we're talking about a specific group of people. And that specific group of people that the Lord is going to bless is the elect, man. It's all about the elect of the nation of Israel on this side, man. The sons of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Go to the next piece will, of Baba Kasha. He will bless the house of Aaron. Yep, that's right. That's right, man. You know? That was it on that? Mm -hmm. uh, go to that other piece of Baba Kasha. Gotcha. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord. Yahweh Shema Washai. With all that heart. Right. And the word heart go back to the Hebrew word lot, which meaning the mind, man. So trusting Yahweh Bashim al Shah with all our mind. That's what we need to be doing in these times that we're living in now, because we know the times are evil, man. So of course, me and the brother are talking to ourselves first and foremost, because we're making the video. But we should always be trusting Yahweh Bashim al Shah without doubt and without wavering, man. Okay, because trusting in the Lord is a sure thing. Read on. It says, and lean not unto thy own understanding. And that's what the majority of our people do, especially those that call themselves Israelites and they teaching uh, false doctrines, man. They're leaning to their own understanding. And, and they're going to be made examples of, man, if they don't repent. Okay, because leaning to your own understanding, that's being carnally minded. And we know the Apostle Paul said to be carnally minded equals to death, man. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Okay, which is this truth. Okay, and break it down the scriptures the right way. All right, that was it in that, brother. Finish off verse six. Uh huh. And all thy ways acknowledge him. That's right. And he shall direct thy path. Right, and acknowledging goes back to confess, man. Okay, in all thy ways, we acknowledge you. How about Shemal Shah? He's directing us the path, that narrow path, the difficult path to life, man. While the majority of our people, they're taking the path, the broad way. To destruction, and that's what Yahweh Bashim al Shah got planned for the two thirds of our people who don't want to repent and they want to rebel, man. You know, 
The Lord's going to let all type of calamities come upon them, man. And it's going to be a well-deserving judgment. All right? That was it on that, brother? So, Khan, hey, Lord's windows is edifying through the spirit of Pahyal Bashim Ashad. Just a quick little lesson through the spirit, me and the brother to come. You know, we pray that it was edifying. Lord's windows the next time we say Shalom. Shalom.